All right, so they made a lot of progress. Um, we got structural beams up embedded into the cross beams for the top loft section. We got some temporary columns. Um, this column was completely replaced. So this building was six inches, I believe, at a square. I think it was three inches at a plumb. So they lifted it. It's crazy. Check this out. You can see where they lifted the building. You can see that. <laughs> so that'll get taken care of. But overall, it's coming along. Doing a great job. We're making great progress. Um, we've got third floor right now. Concrete it's supposed to be starting next week. So that brings us to that and that. I'm doing that today. I've never used a jackhammer before. So this is either going to be really fun or a pain in the ass. But we shall see. Um, Stay tuned. All right, so yesterday was jackhammer day. Um, let's see, finished, here we go. So that took about an hour and 20 minutes. Um, gotta tell you the first time using jackhammer. First half hour was fun, the rest, not so much. Um, so yeah. So that's a thing. Um, but we're all broken up. The edges even came out a little bit. Um, there was a big hump right here. <clears throat> and uh, so we're gonna pull out and there'll just be a little some gravel. Um, and then we'll do curb actually here to help with water drainage, as well as curb right here. Um, this door is eventually going to be completely closed off, so I won't even access to that, but I think that's fine. <clears throat> so we're going to basically frame, reframe everything on the inside. Um, the backs towards the wall um, will be zip sheathing. So that'll help weatherproof or that will weatherproof. And then framing on top of that and then insulate. Um, obviously electric will need to come. I have, I had electric out here. Um, but it was shoddy. And then previously, so the electric runs from a pole. I don't know if you can see that right in the middle. That is on our property. And uh, this branch during a storm 
like April or something. Um, took down the main wire. So electric's completely off right now, but it's already sort of run, but we need to have, <clears throat> we're gonna have a separate box. <clears throat> and then obviously do all the outlets and whatnot in here. Um, and then there's going to be, I'll update this once, you know, obviously we start getting going, but there's gonna be brand new footings. There's gonna be eight of them. And then some gravel and concrete. So yeah, so I moved all the wood out of here. Um, sorry for the glare. This is some of the guys' um, equipment and lumber. But I, my stack pile has gotten completely shitty. But uh, it's all like old growth pine. I mean, it's, you know, you see some of this new shit right that i mean nothing against it but you see like the big rings like these are like really i mean from my understanding i don't know a whole lot about this shit, but these are young trees whereas you look at some of this like older growth things the rings are so much tighter you know it's like i almost i mean my understanding is it's 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 stronger wood and that's why something like this building can last, what, 100 some odd years. Um, and without even anybody taking care of it. <laughs> Nobody took care of this building. So, you got some good reclaimed lumber. Um, this piece right here, I just cut this up. Um, I don't know, that's, I think it was a little over 17 feet. Um, Four inches thick, five inches thick. Um, my circ saw couldn't even make it, I had to just break it. Um, but, planning on doing some outdoor tables, we gonna make some cool benches. So. so yeah, as we keep going, I'll keep you guys updated. Um, but overall, looking good. Alright, take it easy.